tremendously in the college athlete landscape with these new NIL rules. You hear so many people talking about NIL and what to do next. What does this mean for today's college athlete? I think it means opportunity um, a lot more than we had way back in the day when we were in college. Yeah, absolutely. I think definitely opportunity, the chance to tell and be the author of your story and share your experiences as you see fit. Um, I think the ability to monetize your brand. And one thing that I think is really cool is you can build partnerships and relationships with brands that could potentially, you know, turn into a career after your athletic life has ended. So after retirement. I totally agree. Like the opportunity to network in a way that's totally new and mutually beneficial versus like what job fairs always seem to me to be like in college, which was like begging for opportunity. Now you have something to offer in a way that we never did. And I think that's really, really exciting for today's women athletes at the college level. Absolutely. And to your point, it's very different from when we were in those those positions. I just remember even the recruiting process felt so, um, overly structured and very foreign and like you could do this and you couldn't do that. And you were just kind of always trying to figure out a way to support yourself, but not ruin your opportunity to continue playing your sport. And, you know, obviously there's still rules and regulations around it, but, you know, now students can make money, go to school, play the sport that they love and not feel like, well, how am I going to support myself? And that's huge, right? That's a huge amount of pressure that's off the student and the athlete as well. Yeah. And something that could transition into the rest of their life, whether, like you said, whether they're going to keep being an athlete or not. Um, I also think like, it's, it's easy to think about the positive side of it, the like, not really negative, but I guess burden of the new guidelines is that you have a lot more work to do if you're going to take advantage of it. So doing the research, making sure that you like are aligning with the right brands and really being intentional about what you're doing, like takes time outside of practice and outside of class. So all of a sudden you have this third job to market yourself, to get those opportunities. It's totally worth it financially if you do a great job, but still the reality of extra work. Yeah. And that's, that's a huge point. And that's extra work that can save you a lot of work down the line, but also headache in the future, right? You want to, I know, uh, you and I have a lot of things in common, but we also are very different in the things that we're excited about, our sport, our background, uh, the things that we enjoy doing now can differ. And so, you know, what I may be looking for a brand and what you may be looking for out of a brand could be completely different. And I think one of my rules is like, if I connect with a brand and I make a promise to activate in a certain way, I really want to make sure that I have the time, the resources, and the ability to be able to either create the content or meet the commitment that I've made to that brand. Because, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, being able to monetize your brand is like having your own business and then you can work with other businesses, which is really neat. Right. And the, the business part of that is so true. Like the professionalism and like, that's, that's kind of what I mean about the hard work. Like I a hundred percent agree that you have to be able to understand like what your limitations are and how you can like actually deliver on what you're promising brands. Um, And the just, you know, email to follow up and say like, I really appreciated this. It was a blast. These are X, Y, and Z that I got out of it. And I would love to work together again in the future. Like building those skills as a college athlete, like is not a thing I, I think I would have been ready for, but it's just a really neat opportunity for current collegiate athletes to take advantage of and build those skills, like those, you know, networking, but just plain communication skills to take into the future um, in, in very genuine ways. Like I thinking about the opportunity to get to know yourself at this stage of your life and take that into the future is just really amazing because that applies to your personal life, your professional life and your athletic life. And it can just make your entire future better. Uh, and, you know, we could have done that, but yeah, <laughs> there's like so much absolutely. more incentive um, to do it now with name, image and likeness rights and the ability to monetize it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and on that note, it's like, you can figure out the types of brands that you want to work with, the types of products and services that um, you want to promote. And I think for me, the first time I reached out to a brand or thought, Hey, I can do something. It was truly around a product that I just loved. And it started with me just reaching out to the brand and express how much 
you know, joy or pleasure or just uh, what I got out of using their product. And then from there, it just kind of snowballed into, Hey, I could tell more people that I love this product and they could pay me to tell people that I love this product, but it was always from a place of authenticity of, you know, something that I either do use would use or haven't used because, you know, I, I can't afford the product on my own or something like that. And so, you know, I think that authenticity piece can sound cliche, but it's so important because it makes working with brands so much easier, right? If you're trying to promote a product that you know nothing about, or, you know, you would never use, it always kind of shows um, in how, in the content you create or how you interact with the brand. The very blanket term is opportunity, right? With new name, image, and likeness stuff. And that's opportunity to get to know yourself, get to know brands that you would love to work with, um, and really have a great time doing it uh, and making money. Yeah, absolutely. So Lauren and Kara, how does an athlete begin to think about their short and long-term goals um, when it comes to NIL and sport and life? Being a good communicator and a good listener is always going to, you know, it's going to do well by you. It's going to be beneficial being able to chat with your teammates, chat with your roommates about, you know, what something can look like and things that you can come together as a team to do, to promote yourselves, to promote your sport, to grow this sport, um, to educate fans on your sport, uh, to, you know, to do social causes that matter to you in your sport. And so that's how I always think about long-term goals and thoughts. It's like, what do you want to accomplish? Like, what does the end of it look like for you? And it, it can be something that is a work in progress and grows as you grow, you know, your, your first year, you may only want to, I want to win championships and that's it. And then your second year, you know, I want to win championships, but I also want to really get into my community. And then your third year, you know, I'm now a junior. I want to win championships, work with the community, but also start to look at what life looks like outside of this collegiate bubble. And so, you know, long-term can always be a living, breathing document that, you know, grows with you and your teammates and your roommates. I love that. Having goals, like it, I think it's really hard to define the soft qualities of life, right? Like how you treat people and what your friendships look like and stuff like that. But um, something I think about a lot is like intentional time with friends. Like it's really hard to do that in college, but it's something that becomes even more important as you graduate. So really like focusing in on that. Like if that is your teammates, then exactly what you said, like maybe this year versus freshman year, I want to plan my own volunteer opportunity for the team because I really care about the elderly in our community, for example. And like, maybe there's uh, a company out there or very locally who is going to support that volunteer activity and like donate to the, the, the home or whatever it is. Like maybe there is a way to monetize that, but maybe that's just you learning about like who you are as a person and what you care about. Uh, and focusing on developing as a whole human being that does well in the world. Uh, and women are so great at that, right? So that's, that's what we're all about here at Parity. And what's so exciting about name, image, and likeness stuff, allowing women to get to know their, themselves and each other even better at the college level.